Merry Mega Christmas, everyone, and welcome back to Valhalla. Oh, I'm so excited. It's time to have a party at the bar. Are you guys ready to have a party? Before we do that, make sure that everything's okay here in Jill's apartment. Jill's telling Four that she'll bring him leftovers. That's so nice. And look, we've got a lot of beer. We've got our little Christmas tree and all the other things that we've bought. So let's go ahead and unlock our phone just to check the news before we head out. God, I feel like it's louder today. If it is, I'm very sorry. I don't know what's going on today. Um, yeah, there is some new stuff. I don't know if there's anything new on Reddit. Uh, no, that looks the same, but there is something in the augmented eye. Is there another update on this? Oh, there is. There's another update about the Lilum that was receiving messages. The messages have suddenly stopped and everything is normal again. Still, we can't stop wondering what's the deal. Was it a prankster? Or just someone who discovered how to subvert public communication channels in Lilim? Either way, some reports indicate that Lilim behavior has been rather unusual lately. Although we can only imagine the confusion they were going through. Not the first time. Let's not forget that something similar happened five years ago when Lilim advancement was at its historic high. Fortunately, nothing came out of it. Will it happen again? Time will tell. And Four says, spooky. And Jill says, a bit, yeah. Is it sexist to have an army of robot women? The ones without artificial intelligence, mind you. The King of the West, Kanje, <laughs> from the Western nation of Kanyevania, has approximately 6,000 robot soldiers, all of whom look like the hottest girls around, but is this show of quirkiness from the wacky director problematic? Those dictators from Venezuela or whatever just do what they want. They don't give a shit, Mariana Zimmer told the Augmented Eye during a street interview. They're all pretty hot, though. If I was him, I'd have done the same. Why bother with the real thing when you can just make them from scratch to suit your every need? More as we investigate. That's weird. Yuru Yuri is the best show this season. If you weren't a fan of Yuri or Slice of Life shows already, then be prepared to join the Moe Church this season with the premiere of Yuru Yuri, one of the funniest shows I've seen in recent years. The pals of the popular Danger U forum seem divided, however. This is such an obvious pandering. Remember when anime was about women doing womanly things and beating the shit out of each other? What is this trash? You girls are just haters who hate their lives. I'm gonna marry Sheena Sue. Wake me up inside. You can catch YY every Friday on RSTV. Four says, wanna watch it? And Jill says, anime's for nerds. Come now, Jill. We all like a little bit of anime in our life. Oh, Kira has a new post about, about Christmas. Mega Christmas is here. I'm way too used to Christmas, but the mega tradition here in Glitch City is mega comfy. I know it's an incredibly absurd name, and the holiday isn't any less crazy due to its origin, but I find it amazing how GCU managed to replace the original festivities. Some places celebrate Christmas eating fried chicken, but here they outright change the holiday. Well, it's not that different, considering they have the same dates, but still pretty cool. Oh, I gotta go. Time to sign some books. Merry Mega Christmas. Four says, was it Mega Christmas or Mega Christmas? Jill says, don't know, don't care. <laughs> and I think the rest of those posts were the same. All right, everyone ready? Let's go to work and have a Mega Christmas with Dana and the rest. It's gonna be so fun. It's Christmas. Ah, oh, good evening. Jill, I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. Oh, look, Dana's dressed up a bit. Well, kind of, sort of. You came in your uniform. These are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Gil are in your uniforms too. Okay, it wasn't just me. Yeah, she looks exactly the same. I'm like, maybe her tie's a little different? No. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. What about the kilt you wore that one time? I'm still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. Oh no. <laughs> what is happening with this lot? Holy crap, it's so real. You'll be able to press me. Well, everything's in place back there. Yay, Alma's here. Oh, girl, you look wonderful. Uh, Alma's here. <laughs> you know, there was a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill, greet her properly. Welcome to Va- ha Wait. <laughs> Man, if that's not the sign you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. Shut up. It's becoming a reflex. Wait, Alma also came in her usual attire. Why aren't you saying anything to her? Rib sweaters get a free pass. Yeah, they sure as hell do. Why? Oh, damn. We'll explain it when you're older, Jill. 
Silly question, never mind. Jamie came earlier too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have ice? Trying to take it out of the bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh. What were you doing back there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer. The what? I bought it three days ago. It's amazing. It looks just like a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. Put the food inside it, press a button, and watch as it warms the food up just like a microwave. It's an infomercial bobble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. Oh, great party, guys. So you brought infomercial stuff, too? Haven't you? It's at the very least a good idea for gifts. Well... Dynamic entry! Finally, at least somebody came after me. Is it weird that I've already heard that three times in the last hour? Oh my god, Dorothy. No, girl, it is not weird. It's the best. Yo, do we have, like, any Christmas thing? Oh, look, let's put on Sailor Moon over there. <sighs> oh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. You're taking her side now? Jealous? You wish. You don't need to fight for me. We're not. I'll go check the microwave wires thingy. I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. Back. Oh, and Jamie's carrying the dogs. Oh, so cute. Oh. Oh, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late. Hey, Jay. See, that's how you greet people. You shut it. <laughs> what a party this is. Uh, uh, I'll go help Al um, Alma. I'll go help Sweater Peps. <laughs> Something wrong? She's not good with dogs. Oh. All right, we're all here so we can start. Yo, Anchorage. Alma. Yeah, I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can't you speed it up? I've used those microwave wire things before. It's either warm nicely but slowly or burn that bitch. So how long? Uh, 15 minutes or so. A bell will ring when the time comes. We need to kill some time. Huh. Alright, let's play truth or dare. Aw, oh, Dana. <laughs> Just go for the big shit. What? I'll pass. Games are for kids. <laughs> I'm in. Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun. As long as that must stays away from me. That'll make the time pass faster. I'll pass... You'll play. Aw, oh, shit. Did <laughs> no get out of this one. Oh, crap. Wait, what? Hello? Oh, my God. We are literally all here. Oh. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Look at Jill in such a mood. She doesn't want to be anywhere. <laughs> it's a fucking bad. Look at this mess. This would make the base... Like, this would make a seriously funny dating sim. Holy shit. All right, then. Rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick either truth or dare. God, I don't know how to do that. Well, I mean, I know how to play truth and dare, but we'll, we'll figure it out, I guess. After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We go like that until food's done. What about the punishment games? Those are a hassle. Just issue new questions or challenges until the other person complies. That said, Jill. I yes? You start. Pick someone. Oh, uh, let's see. Click on the portrait of the person you want to pick. Oh, no! But I want to pick everybody! Um... Who don't we know a lot about? Here's the thing, right? As much as I think Dorothy will make this really fun, I mean, I'm going to try to pick everybody if possible, but... Um, she always tells us the straight-up truth about her, right? <laughs> like, always. I want to know more about, like, Dana and Gil, so let's go ahead and pick... Gil. Okay then, Gil. What do you pick? Jill pick Gillian who chose truth. Um, truth. What's your last name? Dare! I, I picked Dare! Oh my god, he doesn't even want to answer that? Aw, oh, Jesus. You can't do that. Try to make a sugar rush with your eyes closed. Alright. Is he gonna do it? Here. Th this is a beer. Oh well, it works. I think. My turn, right? Well... Me! Pick me! You, the dog. Oh, come on. Dare! I dare you! 
Now I'm the one that dares you. Bring it on! Uh, sit. Sir, yes sir! You're not sitting. Uh, sir, yes sir! Uh, whatever, you did it. All right, you the blonde, pet me! Eh, whatever. Your hands are cold. Colder than your usual hands, I guess. All right then, Jill. I'll go with Dare. Give me a shoulder massage, hell yeah. Really? Really. Okay. How about it? You're good at this. My grandpa taught me how years ago. How old were you when your grandpa died? Fourteen or so, if memory serves, right? Then he was... Oh. Sorry, need to use the bathroom. Jill, what did that massage do exactly? It was a regular massage. I might have accidentally unclasped her bra, though. <laughs> nice, Jill. Good job. It felt like something snapped. Oh, dear God. <laughs> well, just imagine the pressure the poor thing must be subject to. You have a pretty triumphant look on your face, though. Wouldn't you? I wonder. If everyone's done talking about my bra, let's move on. I wonder how long until the food's done. Man, Jill is not having any kind of fun. Come on, Jill, it's a party. Click on the portrait. Uh, Dana. All right, boss, pick. Truth me. How did you get your arm? On second thought, dare me. God damn it, you and, uh, you and Gil, cheaters. That is cheating. <sighs> Lift Gil by the neck of his shirt. Okay. Huh? Whoa! Happy? I guess. Who cares? I didn't hear about your arm. I do. I care. All right, Gil. Now that I have you in this position, answer me. I, I didn't pick. You're in no position to pick. Now answer. Did you live in Scotland for two years? Scotland? No. I guess that rules out a couple of possibilities. <laughs> Dana's trying to figure him out too. Hilarious. Uh, Chief? What? Oh, all right, I'm still lifting you. Sorry. And now she apologizes. I guess it's my turn. Hey, Alma, truth or dare? Mmm, dare. Oh, 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 I have a suggestion. You stay quiet. Everyone's afraid of Dorothy. Fine, because she's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna suggest something really bad, I bet. Hmm, how strong are those arms of yours? Uh, it's still my muscles under them, so not the very. Although, not having fleshy skin makes things easier. Wait, that's truth, not dare. I just wanted to make sure. I dare you to break this nut with your hands. Wait, what? You do mean... Okay, never mind. Okay. Well, that was easy. Holy shit, Gil, are you really into that? Eh? Uh? Asking a woman to break a nut in her hands and then watching her eat it. Does that turn you on? Oh, everyone <laughs> was ganging up on him. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Is this an actual thing that turns guys on? I need to know for professional reasons. Oh, you walked into it, man. You're a pervert, Gilbert. Gil, wait. That was close this time. My turn then? All right. Hey, Jill, pick. Um, truth. Okay, then. What's your most embarrassing childhood dream? Uh, elaborate? For example, when I was a girl, I wanted to be a professional puzzle master. I guess in a way I accomplished it, but you understand. Uh, I wanted to be a ventriloquist. Huh? When I was a child, I liked this show called Lucia's Fun House. The one with the woman in the house with the talking stuff? That one. My parents divorced when I was around six, I think. Mom was on tour with an orchestra and my dad was working constantly. I spent a lot of time with my grandpa, but he slept a lot, so I was on my own most of the time. I like to pretend things were like chairs or beds could talk, and since AI wasn't so advanced back then. Anyway, I went to a magic show once, and there was a guy making puppet talk. And my dad told me he was a ventriloquist, so I kind of obsessed about wanting to be one. Even today, I'd be lying if I said that I don't think about it every now and then. So that's why you pretend four can talk. She what? Nothing? I'm getting hungry. All right, it's, it's time for Dorothy. We gotta do it. Okay, then Dorothy. Dare. Do something freaky. 
Like removing my head? Removing your... Because I can remove my head with no problem. <laughs> Do you want me to remove my head? I'll pass. I take your word for it. Anyone want to see that? No. No, thank you. I do, but I'm not gonna be the party pooper here. Fine, I guess it's my turn now. Man, poor Dorothy. Hey, Dina, what do you pick? I'll pick Truth. If you had to marry Honey or John, who would you pick? There, there we go. There's the real questions now coming out. Thank God for Dorothy. Uh, probably Jill. Huh? I mean, she's cute, she's smart. And I kind of own Gil anyway, so it's kind of redundant. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Speaking of Gil, truth or truth, fuckboy? Pick one for me. Well, where were you born? Uh, uh, I don't really know. It's one of those things I can't remember or was never informed about. Strangely, I do remember an early childhood in the Arctic of all places. The Arctic, huh? Just huh? A bell? Food's ready. Finally! Let's go. You guys go ahead. I'll have a quick smoke outside. Careful. Oh, man. Ah, uh, Almy, coming with us, darling. Oh, hell yeah. How you doing, babe? I thought you were hungry. Truth or dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey. Ah, uh, I'll... I, I mean, hello. A bit late for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. Are you leaving already? The, uh, technically we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. But I just got a message that Diana is making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All of this has helped keep my mind off things for a while. Huh. <sighs> Is it weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Ask Katsusha or any of the old literature maidens whose spouse went to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind? If you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to war. I guess. Oh, Jill. She really thinking about it now, huh? Well, although the circumstances make me not want to, I've got to go. Careful out there. Oh yeah, you should take the chance to spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Yeah, Jill, come on, it's Christmas. I know it's hard. Yeah, she's right. Hey, Jill's back! Oh, Dana sounded so happy! Did you see that? She's always, she always sounds so happy to see us. What's these? Oh, is that the moon? Is it something? Whoa. Definitely the moon, but looks ominous. Oh, I hope everyone's having a nice Christmas and holiday, though. I. Am I supposed to. I'm afraid to click here. Oh no, things are happening. <laughs> Oh, Jill. Golly gosh, she always looks so sad. She's just looking out the window. I've been there, haven't we all? Jill, you're all right. Oh, this is chapter three. My God, for some reason, I thought that this ended around Christmas. I guess we still have a bit to go. Okay, we're in chapter three. God, I wonder what's gonna happen now. Holy moly. They'll say, okay, I'm ready. Oh, rent is due on the 30th. Please make sure you have your $10,000. Holy crap. Also, I got an achievement. We're, ha we're, ha we're a little over halfway to the rent on the 30th. We got to make that in quite a bit of time. Oh, God. Like, literally four days we got to make that much money? Oof. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to make sure I do good on spending. But it seems like Jill wants a doll as well. So I think we're gonna have to make some big drinks coming up here to get extra money. I hope you guys are enjoying watching Valhalla, like I'm enjoying playing it. Let's get through and see what's happening. I hope Jill had a nice Christmas. I hope you guys all had a nice Christmas too. I'll see you soon in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Toodaloo!